TPC Sawgrass. In the world of professional golf, there exists an elite club. A club filled with legends, household names, and rising stars. A club where membership is earned yearly with time, sweat, and dedication. This week, 50 players will gain entry into this exclusive fellowship. The top 25 from the regular season have already secured their spots. And another 25 spots are up for grabs here this week. Some dreams will be realized. Others will have to wait another day. Who will be next to join the likes of Jason Duffner, Brand Snedeker, and Keegan Bradley as the next great Web.com Tour graduate? Let's hope it's me. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present opening round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Getting set now for first round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. This is the fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals. And Frank, this is always a pressure packed environment. It is, but also a chance to see the raw talent that will be on display for many a year. And at this tender stage, these players are powerful, talented, and often brilliant. Now to the 11th, par five. Good tee shot, and then you certainly think about hitting a hybrid or a lofted fairway wood into this green that's really narrow, one of the narrowest on the golf course. There's a little pot bunker left of this green when you go for two that often swallows up that second shot if it's a little bit too conservative. But um, there's a lake there. I've seen more than one ball splash in the pond over the years. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Rich, it's not all gone. This is where you can pick yourself off the canvas. Start to string together one or two good shots in a row. Wipe away all the negative thoughts from the bad start and just try to focus on what's in front of you. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That's an outstanding shot right there and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Yeah. You get the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive is setting himself up for a big weekend run. Frank, what's so much fun about TPC Sawgrass is the excitement that it generates for a fan and how many different holes there are. 12 is a good example. Yeah, 12 looks like it's fresh from Scotland. You can see why Pete Dye spent a lot of time over there. Um, tee shot looks straight away, but the second shot is blind. The, the shot you'd get in Scotland with a wedge where you just see the top of the flagstick and you've got to really guesstimate on the yardage that you have. But a good wedge shot and someone that can judge their distance. This is certainly a birdie hole. Oh. 
Great effort right there and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Settles in over the putt. And with that birdie, moves into second place. One of the great things about this golf course, Frank, a variety of par threes, different yardages. Here at the 13th, 181 yard par three. Yeah, this is uh, where you have to be careful on the tee right. there. Anything left is just going to be eaten up by that lake. Matter of fact, if you hit one with a little bit of a hook and it catches the mound, it can still kick into the lake. So this one here, just be a little cautious on the tee. So the shot has landed. I'm not sure if it's on the mulch or in the mulch. Either way, it's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he doesn't have mulch of a shot you left. Frank, as we watch the Web.com Tour Finals, anyone in particular you think could be a breakout star from this group, someone along the lines of a Keegan Bradley? Well, the golfer I'm watching right now, really rich, um, is considered a, a prodigy at the age of two, and uh, a lot of people in the golf world have just been waiting uh, for this player to come out, and, and I'm being one of those. Uh, very impressed. Uh, the golf swing is excellent touch, but even the competitive skill. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. <laughs> He's not happy. Bogey. Tabish. Not the best stuff we've seen today, that's for sure. Yeah, bogeys aren't going to cut it, especially when you should be making a move in the other direction. Frank Tiger certainly had his adventures here at 14. Well, we'll never forget that. Spun it left. Uh, in the end, was very, very lucky to get away with six. Uh, had it been seven, Garcia might have just caught him at the post. But he will, and we will, never forget 14. They'll be pretty happy with that 290-yard poke off the tee. We talk so much about players' futures. We look at the shot coming up. This man being talked about for many a year. Prodigy, perhaps. But um, the way he's looked today, I'm starting to be a believer. This surely must be a talent for the future. Good swing, good shot yet again. Thomas, too much spin. Crap. Well, that was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Oh, in the hole, in the hole. Yeah! That is professional what with a shot. capital P right there. That's stealing. Back to the TPC Sawgrass. The 15th hole, it's One a par four as we make our way to this finishing stretch. And Frank, what's in store for the players here? Another one of those par fours around 450 yards. Uh, ideally hit a tee shot down the right side, keeping it away from that bunker, but that's a flat bunker down the right with no lip, so it's still not too bad. The biggest problem here is that green. So many undulations on this green. Not quite what he was hoping for, the tee shot in the bunker. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club Three, out of the out fairway of the bunker, bunker eh? choke down. A second shot. Really? Let's do it. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Sorry, that work? Frank, that was the right thing to do. Yeah, there was no advantage to try and get any more out of that. Smart shot. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. 
That is an excellent play right there. The approach giving him another good look. Locked in on the read and the speed. Yes. Needed that. Keeps the momentum going with that putt. Stays at three under. There you have it, Frank. The first round is a wrap. We saw some good golf out there. It was certainly a fun round to watch. There's a lot of great players in this field. And this is such an exciting venue. I just can't wait to see what happens the rest of the uh, championship. Shots off now. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. It's the second round of the Web.com Tour Championship, fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals. We saw a lot of great golf on day number one, but as we inch closer, Frank, with those 50 PGA Tour cards up for grabs, that pressure begins to ratchet up. It would have to, Rich, with that golden ticket come the end of this week, and that's a chance to play on the PGA Tour. But for the time being, let's look at the way they're playing right now. We are seeing some players play at the top of their game. So much focus here, Frank, on 16, 17, and 18. Number four is a hole that gets overlooked, but it's a fun one. Yeah, the second shot here is more dawning, especially when that flag's on the on the left. So you really do start looking at that blue stuff, uh, water. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well. Birdie yeah. try up next. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. That's how it's going to go. Now I should just leave. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Put more power Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That's safe. Good work right there, he'll settle for par. Really need a birdie there. Fifth hole here at TPC Sawgrass, long par four. What's the challenge, Frank? Depending, uh, you really, if you're long or short hitter, the long hitters have the luxury of, of taking it over the corner of the bunker down the right. Shorter hitters really play at that bunker down the left, 320 run out. And from the fairway for his second shot here,
another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Just a little tap in here. Now in second, after that par. Only one more player to overtake now. Frank, this isn't a hole that sort of jumps out at you the way, say, 17 does. Yeah, a lot of times people will just sort of gloss over it, but anytime you get a par four into 400 yards, it's a great opportunity. But once again, a positional hole. Take advantage of it. Frank, there's fairway, there's rough, and then there's mulch. Yeah, the, the worst thing about the mulch is all these little chips around the ball, and that's so the ball doesn't sit up. And uh, once again, this shot might look easy, but if you just miss it a bit, it so exaggerates the, uh, the outcome. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Well, that's how you play the game right there. You knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Really? This is an awkward length. I won't be getting misses for sure. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Just five feet left. Ah, she passed the roll. Doesn't dig into the lead with that par, but Frank, sometimes, and you know this as well as anyone, you just have to kind of maintain your footing out there. Frank, what do you think of the seventh? Interesting par four um, for two reasons. The undulating green on the end of the hole that also shapes to the right, that makes it look like a dog leg right. But really, you want to play that tee shot just inside those pot bunkers down the right side. Good tee shot, good lie. And now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating up. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eighth, 237-yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? Well, you come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. Shorter long. Down four feet. Wind isn't too bad. This is called long. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. 
Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Sure. That's a head scratcher. No other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. Getting set now over the putt. That's about as depressing a moment as there is in golf when you miss the bogey uh, yeah. putt. You know you're staring at double. Absolutely bottled it. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Drop two shots. That's, That's messy. That's a double bogey. There you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? Well, I think anybody Six. looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top ten of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of golf there in that first ten is excellent. Twelfth. Two shots behind, though. 